Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowery plants part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now let us talk about the types of fruit based on structure. So uh, true fruit and false fruit is based on the origin from where the fruit is developed. Either it originated from the ovary or it originated from some other plant part. Now based on structure, fruits are divided again into the following types simple fleshy fruits simple dry fruits aggregate fruits and multiple fruits so these are some of the types of fruits based on the structure of fruits how the fruits are um, externally structured right so let us quickly talk about each of these type of fruits in detail one by one Let us start with simple fleshy fruits. So the name itself says it is, it is a simple fruit. So no much, not much complication. Fleshy fruit. So, so much of pulp. So single ripened ovary with one or more seeds. So this fruit is a true fruit. It is derived from the ripened ovary. So there is just one ovary. Inside that ovary there can be one seed or many seeds. Examples of such fruit would be the common fruits which we see. Here the fruit wall is differentiated into exocarp, mesocarp and endocarp. So three distinct layers can be seen. Most of the pericarp is soft and fleshy at maturity and that is why they are known as fleshy fruits because the pericarp, pericarp is nothing but exocarp plus mesocarp plus endocarp. So the entire fruit wall is fleshy. So they are called fleshy fruits. So examples of fleshy fruits would be berry, pome, droop. These are some of the examples of fleshy fruits. Now what are these? They are not exactly a fruit, berry. When I talk about berry, you actually have many types of fruits which are called berry. For example, the cherries and the berries itself. So they all come under that category. Now again, when you talk about droop, so these different names to the categories are given to different uh, types of the fruits. For example, as I said, in berry, you will have cherries, berries, orange, citrus, all those things. Again, in pome, you have fruits like pear, droop, you have fruits like mango. So now this mango, pear, orange, they are all examples of simple fleshy fruits. Because if you look at them, all of them will have a single ovary with one or more seeds and they are all fleshy. So their pericarp is completely fleshy. So that is why they are called simple fleshy fruits. Now these are two different categories like one is based on origin where I mean if you talk about true and false fruit, pear is a false fruit but mango is a true fruit based on their origin. But when you talk about the structure, structure wise pear and mango both fall under simple fleshy fruit because you have one single ovary and you also have a fleshy uh, pericarp. Now let us talk about each of them. Berry. In case of berry, the entire pericarp is fleshy. For example, watermelon, cucumber, orange, these are all examples of berry. So they all fall under the category of berry. So the entire pericarp is fleshy. The next is pome, where it is not the fruit but the fleshy thalamus that is edible. So the fruit is not fleshy as such. I mean the ovary is not fleshy. But the thalamus is fleshy and it is edible. Example is apple and pear. So they fall under the category of pome. But even they are simple fleshy fruit because they are also fleshy and they also have a single ovary with one or many seeds. Droop, only mesocarp is fleshy. So example would be mango and cherry. So here if you see only the mesocarp, even in cherry, if you see inside you have a seed which so that seed outer layer, the structure of a cherry and a mango is very similar if you compare them. So inside you will see one hard seed in a mango and a hard seed in cherry as well. Outside one thin layer and then middle part that, that is the mesocarp is completely fleshy and which is edible also. So these are the different types of simple fleshy fruits. Let us next talk about simple dry fruits. So here also they are simple that is single ripened ovary with one or more seeds. 
but they are dry fruits that means the entire berry cap is dry and hard at maturity so it is no more fleshy it will be dry and tough so examples of such fruits would be pea beans nuts lily cotton maize so these are all examples of simple dry fruits so if you see i mean dry fruits the word dry fruits itself what does it mean to us we think of the nuts right so even in nuts they are also fruits but they there the pericarp is not fleshy it is dry and hard so similar is the case with beans and peas so there also you will see they are quite hard so these are examples of simple dry fruits the third type is the aggregate fruits what is the meaning of the word aggregate aggregate means collection of something so these are not a single ripened ovary there are several ripened ovaries produced by the same flower on the same thalamus that means many ovaries of the same flower so one flower will have many ovaries and these ovaries will combine together to form a fruit so each ovary forms a fruitlet that means one ovary will form a small fruit and all these fruits will combine to form a single fruit so each of these is known as a fruitlet now once i give the example it will be very clear to you example is strawberry blackberry raspberry these are all examples of aggregate fruits have you ever seen strawberry how does it look like it looks as if it is a combination of small small several fruits if you observe it closely so the strawberry is nothing but many ovaries together is forming that strawberry or if you look at this blackberry or a raspberry so they all are made up of small small several fruits so that is why they are known as aggregate fruits so here each individual ripened ovary now here when i talk about that each ovary because there are many ovaries involved now each ovary can be a drupe or it can be a dry fruit it can be a simple fleshy fruit right so you understand that each fruit each ovary in this again can be a simple fleshy can i mean can form a simple fleshy fruit it can be a drupe it can be a cone it can be anything right but when they all combine together to form a single fruit that is known as a an aggregate fruit let us next talk about multiple fruits now here also multiple ovaries are involved it is also known as composite fruit here several ripened ovaries produced by several flowers on the same inflorescence so this is the difference between aggregate fruit and multiple fruit in aggregate fruit several ovaries of the same flower form aggregate fruit but here several ovaries of several flowers form the multiple fruit so here fruitlets of multiple fruits can again be drupes or berries or nutlets they can be anything example is a pineapple so in pineapple also you can actually feel the difference i mean you can actually feel the several segments are joined together to form that fruit so in pineapple each segment develops from carpel of one flower so one flower carpel will form this another ca flower carpel will form another segment and like that all the segments will join together to form the pineapple so pineapple jackfruit these are examples of multiple fruits right so these are the different types of fruits based upon their structure so let us have a quick distinction between the four types of fruits which we discussed simple fleshy simple dry aggregate and multiple in simple fleshy single ovary is involved when whichever whenever we talk about simple fruit that means single ovary here single ovary again in aggregate multiple ovaries of single flower and in multiple multiple ovaries of multiple flowers right talking about the pericarp in simple fleshy the pericarp is fleshy simple dry pericarp is hard and dry now in simple dry fruits again different examples of simple dry fruits will have different parts as dry in aggregate fruits fruitlets may be fleshy or dry because the aggregate fruit is made up of small fruitlets so they can be fleshy they can be dry 
again in multiple fruits also the fruitlets may be fleshy or dry example of simple fleshy would be watermelon mango so it can be all these examples in simple dry pea wheat bean these are all examples of simple dry fruits now talking about simple dry fruits the legumes like peas and beans are also examples of simple dry fruits so here in, in legumes what happens one carpel splits into two seams that is why you have two seams right in the nuts it is a one seeded fruit with a very thick and hard pericarp however when you when i talk about the simple dry fruits or the nuts you also think of cashew nuts and peanuts now please let me remind you that cashew nuts peanuts they are not examples of fruits cashew nut is not a fruit it is a seed similarly peanut is not a fruit peanut is a seed so pea is a fruit but peanut is not a fruit it is a seed so cashew nuts and peanuts are seeds and they are not dry fruits now example of aggregate fruit would be strawberry blackberry again multiple fruits would be pineapple fig so this is an overview of the different types of fruits based on their structure thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again